What's up, everybody? It's your boy Joe, founder of Project Learn and Earn 1000, where we hope to transform a thousand individuals into business owners for the purposes of shifting their minds to shift their income and build generational wealth. You know what it is? Two shifts, one bill. Want to first and foremost thank you for uh, tuning in to the YouTube channel, uh, providing the support. Uh, with this video right here, we're going to be kicking off a, a, a nice little series uh, where we're going to try to keep things short and compact, but give you some, some strategies and some tips, things that you can learn and apply immediately and start earning uh, in your life, whether that be uh, personally, uh, financially, health-wise, uh, you name it, we're going to uh, provide you with some things to 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 get you through so uh tonight i want to talk to you uh we're, we're going to be in the lab here and, and for these minutes we're going to be discussing credit and debt uh the bloody mess so i i really want us to for a few minutes just just realize something uh credit is, is so so important right now if you don't have good credit it's almost impossible for you to have the type of life or lifestyle that you want. So we gotta have good credit. Uh, the problem is a lot of us don't know the things about credit that we need to, to help us make more informed and sound credit decisions. Uh, and so when we, when we exercise or use credit, we don't realize that we're creating debt simultaneously. And, and when, when we use credit to create debt and, and it has a negative impact, uh, it has what we like to call, it becomes what we call a bloody mess. All right, so, so the bloody mess, I, I want you to keep this in mind. Uh, interest is the penalty you pay for the right to own something in advance that you cannot afford. All right, that's courtesy of Mr. Ivis Stokes, uh, co founder of, of My Econ. Mr. Stokes says interest is the penalty you pay for the right to own something in advance that you cannot afford. So simply what, what was happening and what we're saying is this, when we don't have the money to buy something, things that we want or need, we use credit and based on our credit worthiness, we're going to pay some interest for asking to go ahead and buy something right now and pay for it later. For a lot of people, the interest that they pay for the credit that they are issued creates a real huge or significant negative or negative cash flow. And so it creates this, this bloody mess. It feels like you're just being beaten, cut, because interest takes up a lot of the money that you're, that you're dishing out for the credit that you've been issued. So we want to keep that in mind. So I want you to look at something. When we take a look at this chart right here, this is what the bloody mess looks like. So on the left-hand side, these are things related to you. And on the right-hand side, these are the outcomes. So let's say you owe $5,000 and you pay $100 a month. And your credit card rate, interest rate is 21%. All right, so this is 21%. But what we have to do and what most people don't realize is this, this interest is compounded. It's compounded over a 12-month period. So what you have to do is take the 21% and divide it by 12. And now you've got a monthly percentage rate of 1.75%. All right, so our overall rate is 21%. The monthly rate is 1.75%. So in order to find out how much of this $100 is going towards the interest, you convert the 1.75 to a decimal, and you have 
0.0175 multiplied times $5,000. And as you can see, your monthly interest payment is $87.50. $87.50. So to find out what your principal payment is, we're going to subtract the $87.50 from the $100 that we pay. And as you can see, $12.50 of your $100 is going towards the $5,000. So I want to take a pause right there. And let's recap before we go a little further. We've got a $5,000 balance and we're paying $100 a month. Your interest rate is 21%, but that's 21% that's compounded over a monthly period. So over a 12 month period, your monthly rate is 1.75%. Your interest payment on that $5,000 balance is $87.50 a month, leaving $12.50 to go towards the principal of $5,000. All right, so right now we can see, hmm, I'm spending 100, but I'm only paying $12.50 towards the 5,000. So in reality, when we take 5,000 and divide it by the $12.50 that we're sending on a monthly basis, we now see that we have 400 months that we're gonna be obligated to pay $100 each time to satisfy, satisfy $5,000 debts. So 400 months, your sentencing, and the reason we say your sentencing, 400 months divided by 12 comes out to 33 years. Comes out to 33 years. Your bank earns over this 33-year period $87.50 per month times 400 months. It comes out to $35,000. So off a $5,000 balance, the bank earns $35,000. Because we only pay $100 a month, which was the minimum, our interest rate on our monthly payments was 1.75%. We didn't know that of that $100, only $12.50 was going towards the 5,000. And because we were just happy paying the minimum, we set ourselves up for a sentencing of 33 years and ultimately we've paid back $30,000 more Actually, we've paid $35,000 more than we should have because the bank makes $35,000. So this is a mess for most people. Interest is the penalty you pay. For the right to own something in advance, that you cannot afford. The bloody mess. So, <clears throat> here's something to think about. That example I showed you was, was, was the outcome of using credit to buy something, all right? So when you're extended credit, you're extending purchasing, purchasing power. 
when you use that credit, you're now in a position where you owe someone. And when you owe someone, you are in debt to that person or entity. So credit used is now debt owed. Credit used becomes debt that is now owed. So they're the same thing. Credit is debt. It is not free money. When you use your credit, you're now telling somebody, right now, I need for you to allow me to purchase this, and I will pay you back later. And for you being so kind to pay me back, I mean, to give it to me right now, I'm going to pay you back a little bit more. All right. So it's important to know that credit and debt are the same thing. Here's some other things that you want to keep in mind. The amount of credit you use is a factor in your credit score. As a matter of fact, it's the second largest component of your score. It's 30%. See, in the previous example, we showed you that someone owed $5,000. Now, if that $5,000 that they owe was the entire limit for that particular line of credit, then their credit utilization would be 70% higher than what is recommended at 30, and they would have maxed out that card. They would have maxed out that card. And at that point, it negatively impacts the score. So $5,000 use of $5,000 extended equals poor credit utilization. But $5,000 used of $20,000 is only 25% credit utilization. So the more purchasing power you extended, the more, the greater the threshold for your credit utilization in raw dollars. All right, so you want to, if you're going to use credit, you only want to use 30% because credit used becomes debt owed. Now, when you use your credit, as stated earlier, you're now creating debt that you must pay back, and high levels of debt negatively impact your score. High levels of debt negatively impact your score. So again, if you've got $5,000 credit extended to you and you use all $5,000, you're carrying a high level of debt and that's gonna impact your score. It's gonna impact your score. So you wanna make sure you're maintaining about 30% credit utilization to keep, to, to keep your debt down. But now when you have the debt, whether it's a large amount or a small amount, you gotta be strategic in eliminating the debt. Strategic elimination of your debt is a key strategy to building and maintaining good credit. So when you use your credit to create debt that is owed, the key is to pay it off as quickly as you can. Be very strategic about how you eliminate your debt because as you eliminate your debt, you improve your credit utilization percentage. The quicker you eliminate your debt, the more favorable your credit utilization looks to a potential creditor. So credit is debt. 
They're the same thing. We want to avoid the bloody mess. Now, for most people, the reason they make they end up in a bloody mess is not because they want to, it's because they lack the proper knowledge to make good informed credit decisions. They lack the proper knowledge to make good informed credit decisions. Instead of focusing on credit simply to get a car or a home, we want to start focusing on credit as a means of building wealth. But in order to do that, you've got to improve or increase your knowledge base regarding credit and debt. So with the Learn and Earn Academy, in these lab minutes, we try to share practical tips and tools on how to address these things. So how can you avoid the bloody mess and how can you put yourself in a position where you can make better informed credit decisions? The premise for the uh, Mr. Ivy Stokes, who, who I quoted earlier regarding interest, co-founded a company called My Econ. And with My Econ, My Econ is all about personal financial success. One of the pillars of My Econ's personal financial success income shifting strategy is to utilize the smart credit system. The smart credit system is a comprehensive holistic credit education program that teaches you how to build, repair, and maintain your credit. If there are things you need to, to, to dispute, remove, or challenge on your credit report, you'll learn exactly how to do that. You're provided with temp letters, templates, strategies that you need to, to dispute items. We also provide strategies that you need to, to uh, address your credit utilization. Strategies specifically for credit utilization and how to strategically eliminate your debt uh, to improve your overall credit utilization percentage. Those things are included in the smart credit system. So everything you need to improve and increase your knowledge base so you can learn more about credit and debt and then make more informed credit decisions is provided in the MyEcon smart credit system. Now the smart credit system is available to you in one of two ways as a component of the income shifting membership that uh, is more so for those who are looking to build a business uh, using their desire to learn more about credit and debt, or it's, it's, it's available as a standalone educational program for one-time fee of $99.95, uh, and is your program for life. So, If you found any value in what we shared with you this evening in the lab minutes on our Learn and Earn channel, leave us a comment or two. Share with a friend or a family member who may not quite be sure what to do about credit, who needs a little bit more information. And once they get themselves prepared and properly educated on credit, they can start making decisions that's aimed towards shifting their minds, shifting their income, and building generational wealth. So until next time, next Lab Minutes, this is Joe, founder of Project Learn and Earn 1000, where we hope to transform 1,000 individuals into business owners for the purpose of shifting their minds to shift their income and build generational wealth. You know the tag, two shifts, one bill. You're ready to get your income shifting membership and start learning about credit right now? Follow the link. We'll talk to you later.